What's up, fellas? Damn, is it hot. 33 degrees in the house, 85% humidity at 2 o'clock in the morning. Doesn't make Chubby a happy man. No, no, no. It's damn warm. And I'm not trying to rub it in you guys' faces, I'm just stating a fact. It's damn warm. You know, fat boys aren't made for these kind of heat, this kind of heat. Whew. So, another homebrew Wednesday. It's going to be a bit weird because I'm filming this on the weekend, but it's coming out on Wednesday. So some of the stuff I'm going to talk about is really going to happen. It's already happened. Like, um, uh, this whole package over here. Mr. Paul Wicksteed. Time for another. This should hopefully be in your position by then. Bit of a home brew and a bit of a special brew there for you. So, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And I think you'll notice that you might recognize the box. I'm doing a bit of a old kiwi recycling here, you know, go look after New Zealand. So, that we're coming your way. And also I'm pretty excited, we're going to do some beer reviews today. One by me, and one by my lovely missus, who's not too happy about it, but mm -hmm. she can do it anyway. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm going to try is this. This is a homebrew by Time for Another One. Paul Wicksteed. This is his old ale, Old Peculiar. He calls it a mutant beer because he made his homemade candy, dark candy in it, and he didn't uh, balance it off. I think it's just excuses. I'll tell you if it's good, or drinkable or not. I'm not one of these people who are like, hmm, I can smell peaches in this. I'll tell you if there's a good beer or not. So, oh yes, nice and it's carbonated nicely. Ooh, that smells good. I'm getting a lot of dark, dark candy, as he has said. Very dark caramels. Mmm, that smells good, man. This smells really good. Ooh. That's dark. That's good. Ooh. It's a bit happy, happy over here. Ooh, that smells good. Well, well, I'll let that sit and um, calm us else down. We've got a few beginner tips for other Someone's had a good weekend. Just my landlord throwing all these <laughs> bottles away. Some of them might even come from me. Um, um, i got a few beginner tri tips for everybody who's a beginner brewer like myself. If you can get it, get your hand on 5 star PBW. This stuff cleans everything out. Out, up very very nicely and a lot uh, no fuss or has fuss or has no no big issues but what else I also found you can do with this is get rid of the labels very very easily you just put the bottles in and let it soak overnight the next day they pretty much come off straight so not only does it clean it gets rid of labels and the sticky crap that comes on the beer bottles another little tip I have for newbie brewers um, I know these PET bottles aren't the greatest, but they do serve another good purpose. Um, I got a lot of glass uh, bottles, but I never really know when they editing. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so you might, you might see a bit of a hiccup in the video there. I just had to speak to my landlord there quickly. So as what I was trying to explain is, these PET bottles, they're not the greatest things in the world. Yeah. But they do serve a good purpose if you have glass bottles. Because one of the problems with glass bottles is you never know when your beer is fully carbonated or as a beginner. So one of the things you can do is that you get two or three bottles and fill them up and you do the rest of your bottles as normal, your glass bottles. And you've got some of these. And what you'll see, when you uh, first put your beer in, the bottle is very soft. You can, you know, you, you can bend it so that's not carbonated. So another way, so one of the ways to know when your beer is carbonated, and with these plastic bottles, is that once it's carbonated, you can't push it in at all. So that's a good way to know once your beer is carbonated, and then you can start drinking your, your glass ones. So it may not be a great tip, but it's a quick tip for the beginners of us who are still bottling and not kegging. So good way to know when it's carbonated and good to go. So back to Mr. Wicksteed's beer. So 
some good carbonation on there. And there's a thing here at the moment. It was bigger. I had to let it sit down. Nice small bubbles. Nice and dark. I'm feeling that. Oh, a lot of dark caramels, dark candy. I'm, I'm thinking homemade. Um, oh, what's this stuff called? Caramel. Homemade caramel. That really dark, dark sugar flavor. Oh, it really smells good. Shit. Nah, nah, that, that is really, really good. Very, very um, subtle smokiness. I'm thinking that's from the dark malt. Very dark coffee caramel flavors. Really smooth. Mm. Wonderful aftertaste. It, it basically feels, uh, tastes like you've been sucking on a caramel candy. Really good. Mm. Oh, this is good. This is good. Mm. Mm. Am I even doing this to smoke, uh, blow smoke up your ass? This is a good fucking beer, man. Seriously. Too bad my, my wife won't be able to taste it. Mm. This is mine. Mm. <laughs> mm. No, dude, seriously. This is a good beer. I am very, very impressed. When you open your brewery, I'll be the first in line to come and drink some of your beer, man. This is damn good. You have to. Sh you gotta uh, show me the ways, man. You gotta show me how to get good beer like this. Mm. This is damn good. I I'm not sure, but if you can, please tell me if this is extract or is it all grain. Because if you can, if you're willing, please uh, part yourself of that recipe. I'd love to make this. This is damn good, man. Um. I'm going to do a few shout outs and then once the uh, shout outs are done, the missus is going to be doing a review on another beer that Mr. Wicksteed sent us, the Yeasty Boys Tea Leaf IPA. That's going to be good. So, a few shout outs. This weekend I've been a little bit of a social butterfly. Usually I'm just a grumpy old side who doesn't want to talk to anybody, but this weekend I was speaking to a lot of people. So. Uh, I want to send a special shout out to Jelda1276 Off Tap Brewing and Kez Bar Brewing. I spoke to those guys for about four, I think it was like four hours on Saturday night. Maybe, yeah, Saturday night or Saturday. The wife wasn't too happy, but when are they ever happy? Sorry. It's really damn hot, guys. So I want to send a special shout out to them. And then I'll send out a uh, shout out to Lama22, Tony Yates, and Mud Gablinski. This morning when I got up, but I was still busy trying to wake up and have my cup of coffee, I was speaking to those guys. Um, it was really good talking to you guys. I wish I could have picked your brains a bit, a bit more, uh, but I was having battery issues. And then I actually got onto uh, hockey players' cost this evening. Um, fortunately, it's a bit late in the evening and I have to get some more work done, so I only got to go on for a little bit. I wasn't even sure if all my equipment was working, so excuse me. Please let me know if uh, you actually could hear me. I'd like to send out a, um, a shout out. Some of the guys you would have really heard already: Llama Twenty Two, Tony Yates, Mother Plinsky, BH Brewing, Bearded Brewer. You're a dirty, dirty bastard. Home Beer Brewery, The Dutchman. Oh yes, smoking a pancake. S J Poor. Mr. and Mrs. The Social, and yeah, I was like, I wish I could have stayed on a bit longer, guys. Um, I wish I could have spoke to be a bit more and drank a few more beers. <laughs> I wish you could have had some of this beer. Fuck. Mr. The Social, you like uh, dark beers? Call up uh, uh, Paul Seed. He's got a good one for you. Mm. Oh, that's good. Um, Striped Dog Brewing. Where the hell you at, Brian? You saw I put it up a barn, you gave us a cool update, and we haven't heard from you since. I know it's cold up there, but I'm pretty sure your camera can work. 
Let us know how you're doing, man. We want to see how your your barn's going, uh, what you're brewing, and then and a special shout out to time for another Paul Wicks seed. Really great beer, man. Really great beer. Fuck. And now, um, oh yes, um, sorry, damn up. So I did the yeast experiment today, or I bottled the yeast experiment today. I tasted the brew. Um, you won't be able to get to see this for a while because I'm still. I'm going to do another taste test once it's carbonated. I'm sorry if I'm rambling on, but what can I do? <laughs> that beer's hit, hit me for a bit of a loop. Um, so yeah, um, I've done that. I bottled it. So now I'm just waiting for it to carbonate, and then I'll be doing uh, another taste test, and then I'll be putting up my final results. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So. For now, for what you've actually really been waiting for, a special request from Lama22 is a beer review by my missus, which is a lot better looking than I am, but ah, what can you do? So, here she is. Cheers, guys. Hi, guys. Mrs. Chubby here doing the long awaited beer review. Especially requested by Lamo22. Hello! Um, so I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> I've got my Hogarten glass firmly in hand to do the beer review of the Yeastie Boys Tea Leaf IPA, the Gunamata. Kindly sent to. You gotta put it up. <laughs> Kindly sent to us by Mr. Paul Wicksteed, otherwise known as Mr. Man, down in Wellington. So here we go. Mr. Chubby has kindly opened it for me because I didn't want to screw it up on international YouTube. So here we go. Let's pour it in and have a taste. That colour. Lovely and golden. Really nice and clear. You see? Yep. Here we go. Nice head on there. About one of my fingers. So, pretty good so far. Oh yes. Now that's a good aroma. It's fresh and sweet. And you can smell it's sort of tea, almost like a green tea aroma in there. Oh, enough of the sniffing, now for the drinking. Oh yes, that is some seriously good stuff. Definitely get that sort of green tea, tea flavor. Very light citrusy flavour in there. Very, I want to say hoppy, but they haven't actually used hops. It, it's, no, no, they have. No, they have. Okay, cool. You can edit that further. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> One take wonder. Oh dear. So yeah, really sort of light, refreshing, perfect on a hot day like this in New Zealand. Very caramelly, but a light caramel, not a dark caramel. Really, really good. Tasty and refreshing. Well done, Yeastie Boys, and thank you very much, Paul. See you guys. Bye.